the night is long that never finds the day. Go away! All of you, let me alone! Better come out, Joe. This is your last chance. I said let me alone! Okay, you asked for it. RKO Radio Pictures presents The Long Night. A killer trapped in an empty house. Outside, the sirens wail. The crowd howls for his life. Grim men prepare his death. And the once quiet square pulses with mob hysteria. RKO Radio Pictures proudly presents The Long Night, produced by Robert and Raymond Hakim and Anatole Litvak, with screenplay by John Wexley. And now RKO brings you a preview of The Long Night, with all the stars of the picture in their original roles. You'll hear... Henry Fonda as Joe Adams. Yeah, sure, I killed him. It's done, and that's, that's all there is to it. Barbara Belgettis as Joanne. Golly, Joe... You're not jealous, I hope. Vincent Price as Maximilian. I actually came up here to kill you, not merely on impulse, but with a definite plan. And Dvorak as Charlie. <laughs> Illusionist is right. Before you know it, Max has you right where he wants you. Listen now to an original radio drama based on scenes from The Long Night. Get back! Get back, everyone! Want to get yourselves killed? What happened? They say it's a crazy man. He killed three people. I heard it was four. He's a mad dog. They ought to shoot him on sight. Oh, well, who is it? It's that Adams, man, on the top floor over there. Yeah, a born killer. Joe Adams? Why, I know him. He wouldn't kill anybody. Yeah, well, ask the sheriff. Ask anybody. He did it. Sure, I did it. Me, Joe Adams. Now they want me to come out and explain why. How can I explain what I don't understand myself? It's done, that's all there is to it. And I'm alone, trapped in this room with nothing ahead but the night, the long night. So what, I've always been alone. Always? Well, almost always, till I met Joanne. Don't know what happened then. Every minute with her went like nothing at all, and every minute without her was a million minutes. She was always kind of strange. Sometimes I couldn't quite understand her. Joe, tell me what you think when you kiss me. Huh? When I kiss you? Uh, I think you'd look pretty nice in a wedding gown. I mean, with me around, of course. You mean you want us to get married? You're so silly. Getting married, you... You think it's so simple? Look, on the level now, I wouldn't mind at all getting married. I mean to you. Joe, do you really think it happens, people being in love? Or, or is it something you only read in books? Listen, you know you love me. Why don't you be yourself? Why hold back? I'm staying right here till you own up. Oh, but you can't. Why not? You see, I, I have to go out. I, I have an appointment. Appointment? Well, isn't it pretty late for you to go out? Golly, Joe... You're not jealous, I hope. Me? Jealous? What right have I got to be jealous? You're free, same as I'm free. Everybody should be free and equal. Jealous? Me? Huh. Well, I guess I'll be going. <laughs> but I was jealous. I waited in my old car, followed her. She went to a cheap nightclub, a honky-tonk called The Jungle. I went inside to the bar, ordered a beer, stood there. Finally, I saw her. A magician called Max Million was doing tricks. Dog tricks, card tricks. He had a good act. Joanne was watching him like a bird watches a snake. I saw him nod to her, say something, 
Then a girl in spangles elbowed up to the bar beside me. Well, hello, handsome. Hello. <laughs> See that character out there, that Maximilian? Would you believe anybody in her right mind would stick to him for 15 miserable months across just about the same number of miserable states? Look, pal, you're pretty nice. What's all this anyway, the story of your life? <laughs> yeah, if you want to call it a life. Hey, Mac, give me a shot and one for my cousin here. No, thanks. You wouldn't let a lady drink alone, would you? Set him up, Mac. Look, I hope you can afford this good liquor, but why tell me all this stuff? I'm not pumping you. Just pretend I'm talking to myself to show how happy I am. Happy? Yeah, happy. That's an illusion, too. Like Max is out there. <laughs> illusion is right. Before you know it, he's got you right where he wants you. But that slick line of his, like velvet. Uh-oh, the act's over. It won't be long now. Well, here comes Max. Just watch this, cousin. You know, Charlene, I don't mind a little practical joke. After all, it's my stock in trade. But when you leave a performer stranded in midair... Now, Max, darling, I left you on perfectly solid ground, right in the middle of the stage. Right in the middle of the act. Oh, but there isn't any act anymore. Not for me. No more illusions. No more tricks. No more trotting alongside little dogs at your heels. No more of you, you heel. Now, now, my dear, why be so emotional here? We can talk this all out intelligently. Leave me alone. Take your hand off my arm. Come on, Charlie. Don't be silly. Uh-uh. Take it easy, mister. The lady doesn't want any more talk-talk. You see, it happens she's with me. Oh, really? Yes, Max. You see, it so happens sometimes. What was your name again, handsome? I, I didn't quite catch it. My name is Charlene. That's to my public. But to you, I'd just be Charlie. Look here, Charlie. Maybe you've had one too many. But I hate to see you make yourself ridiculous. Mister, if you don't want to look ridiculous yourself, you better scram. Go on. Get back to whoever you're with. My friend, there is no one I would like disagreeing with more than you, but under the circumstances, there's hardly any point in continuing this conversation. Until tomorrow, my dear Charlie, and think it over. <laughs> well, you see for yourself the way he talks. Yeah, when he makes with that love talk. <laughs> At first, anyway, a gal forgets what it's all about. The sheriff's got a searchlight trained on Joe's window. The window shot to pieces. Wonder if they got him. Sure was a lot of shooting. Don't see how he lived through it. I lived through more than that in the war. Bum shooting, Sheriff. Your angle's too high. I lived through better than that in the war. A man can live through lots of things, but sometimes his thoughts get him. Well, think it over. You see what I mean? I have to go out. I, I have an appointment. When he makes me that love talk, a gal forgets what it's all about. Forgets what it's all about. Joanne, who had an appointment with Maximilian. Well, I tried to forget, too. I didn't go near her for a while. Several times at the jungle I saw her with Max. Of course, I wasn't jealous. She was free, but... Well, finally, I tried to warn her against him. She wouldn't talk about it. That was this afternoon. And then tonight, Max came here to my room. Good evening. What do you want now? You told Joanne not to see me anymore. Against her every instinct. You told her that, didn't you? <laughs> I knew I was right. Okay, so you're smart. I'm stupid. Well, that ought to make you happy. I don't care about that. My only concern is Joanne, her happiness. Stand still. Stop squirming around like... Like a slippery eel. <laughs> Why are you so tense, so nervous? Very odd, my friend. I always thought persons who do common manual labor aren't subject to nervous tension. Common? Don't you see, my boy? You're only nervous because you're confused, and your confusion stems from things you cannot quite grasp. Elusive, mysterious things such as the ways of women, much too complex for the ordinary male mind to comprehend. All the mysterious yearnings of a young girl. Shut up. I told you to cut it or out. <laughs> now, now, you don't frighten me. You merely make me laugh. <laughs> go on. Keep laughing. It's very funny. No, no, no. Let go. Go on. Enjoy yourself. I'll just top you out the window. You can enjoy yourself all the way down. No, no. Huh? Let go, please. Stop. All right. Get up. I'll let you go this time, but get going. I'm, I feel all dizzy, all, all on edge. 
Yes, you had me on the edge, didn't you? Get up and get going. <laughs> it's not so easy, is it? Not so easy to kill a man. I ought to know. After all, I came up here to do that myself. To kill you. Kill me? <laughs> you see? Here's the gun. Oh, don't be afraid. I'm not going to kill you now. <laughs> there, look at it. I actually came up here to kill you. Not merely on impulse, but with a definite plan. Oh, well, <laughs> I often have worked out plans, but often they fail. You have failed with Joanne. What are you trying to say? Merely that I find it rather amusing, these naive conceptions simple men like you have concerning women. But the lovely creatures, they are so much more complicated, thank you. Shut up! <laughs> Love is many things. Fascination, attraction, in a word, appeal. But let us say I happen to have that appeal, particularly to a young, dreamy girl who happens to appeal to me. <laughs> well, I could go on and on. So many fascinating beats. Get out! Oh, put down that gun. It doesn't frighten me. A moment ago, I held it, but I didn't use it. You won't use it. I Get out of here! Are you sure you don't want to hear more about Joe? I told you to shut up! I promise you the details are perfectly fascinating. Intimate, fascinating details. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I killed him. And now listen to that crowd outside. Only a few hours ago, I was one of them. Now they're howling for my life. Adams? Joe Adams. This is Sheriff Me talking. Okay, now... Come out and come out with your hands up. You think he'll come out? He's a fool if he don't. They'll blast him out. Look at those machine guns they got on the roof across the street. They got the right angle now to sweep that room clean. All right, Adams. Don't try to play dead in there, or you soon will be. Poor Joe. They'll get him sure now. Okay, Adams. You asked for it. Trapped in a deserted house while thousands of people mill in the square below, howling for his life, Joe Adams wonders what the night will bring. Will he see the morning, or will it find him dead? In the long night, RKO Radio Pictures brings to the screen a picture packed with drama, action, and suspense. Screaming bullets search a shattered room for a man who cowers in a corner. Elemental human emotions flame into violence. A simple love affair brings tragedy stalking in its wake. That's the story of The Long Night. In the scenes you have just heard, Henry Fonda, Barbara Bel Geddes, Vincent Price, and Anne Dvorak played their original roles from the picture. See them on the screen in the RKO thrill drama, The Long Night. Will Joe Adams escape from the police trap? Will he be captured alive? Or will searching messengers of death find their target? For the answer, see The Long Night. It's another great RKO radio picture. <laughs>